Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel. This is Frank in Action. And in this video, we'll be continuing the segment or our series of episodes about daily news and how you're going to conduct lessons and how you're going to um, do the demo lessons in, if you are an aspirant or if you're an applicant here in Native Camp. So what you just need to do is to follow the previews or check or try to watch the previous videos that I uploaded. And this would be the last episode about daily news. And we are already in the discussion part. So please make sure to check the five videos first, okay? <laughs> All right, so if you're not yet subscribed in our YouTube channel, make sure to click the subscribe button and also the ring bell button so you'll be notified in our next videos. So um, as what I've said, we will be continuing the segment about daily news and this would be the last part, which is the discussion. So what we do here, we just watch the video and we will give you some feedback on what we, you should do during your demo lessons and also in your day-to-day uh, -day lessons uh, using the textbook daily news so if you have any comment guys if you have anything that you can um, share on how you're going to conduct daily news um, so what I've said, daily news is one of the advanced classes that Native Camp is offering to our students. And I think it's very important, it's vital that we will be able to talk about it and we could be able to share on what are the best practices in introducing and conducting this textbook. All right, so let's watch this. Native Camp. This is the tutorial video which will show you how to teach daily news textbook. You are now in the discussion section, the sixth step in handling daily news textbook. There are two points that you should remember for this section. First, checking the purpose of this section and second, knowing how to proceed with this section. Let's begin with the first point. The objective of the discussion section is to ask questions which are related to the topic, but not necessarily about the article itself. All right, so this is very important, guys. So this part, a while ago, or in the previous video, we were answering questions, the three questions, the listening focus part. We will, they, the student is answering questions objectively, but this time the student should provide his opinion and you should inform your student that anything under the sign, uh, giving opinions uh, is, is very welcome in that part or in that segment of your class. So let them feel that they um, let them understand that during this time, the student could be able to give their opinion. So upon answering, there are some hints also later that I will be showing through this video, uh, how you're going to use those um, guides or answers and how you're going to give um, some clues if the students are having difficulties of answering the question. Okay, let's continue. This will allow the student to engage in a conversation and practice their speaking skill. All right, so please take note that in this segment also, we are focusing on the student's speaking skills development. So it is important that you allow your student, you provide your students ample time to answer questions. There are times that there are some questions that they need more time to you know, process the questions, give them enough time to do that. And if it is really difficult for them to understand, then that's the time you're gonna give them some clues or hints so you could be able to help them in answering the question. Let the student check the directions by saying, please look at the directions. When the student has finished checking the directions, say, please answer each question freely or by using the situation given. Starting with this section, read the red colored instructions. I'll read each question. Then you can answer freely or open the answer key to have more idea to answer. Let's start with number one. Refer to the book for the questions and remember to correct grammatical mistakes and mispronunciation when needed. All right. So this is important also that you have to, you know, be consistent in, uh, in, 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 in what I call this one, jotting down those 
mispronounced and grammatical mistakes when the students are you know answering questions it is important that instead of just you know uh telling them that it's a mistake you also type those grammatical mistakes and words in the chat box and i also highly recommend that when you uh what i call this one uh point some mispronunciation you have to really what i call this one uh put the word pronunciation and then the words that you want to to practice it is important because when the student is checking the chat box or chat history um it would give them an idea ah during this time my teacher was actually checking my pronunciation so that's the time that they're gonna have uh ample time or they're gonna have more effort to check how to pronounce the words in their own and this could be a good you know uh light bulb moment for the teacher or for the student that okay i like this teacher because they the teacher really put more effort about checking my pronunciation labeling those words that i mispronounce and also to give more extra uh mile to our teacher or to our student uh rather it is important that you also put the ipa okay the standard ipa for for the pronunciation you can actually just check that one online as, as maybe less than a minute and then you can just copy and paste that one in his chat box and it is also very nice if you could also give them the website or the link where you get that ipa um uh, what i call this one help okay so it's really up to you but giving more extra uh mile more extra information to our to our student it will give much more engagement and i think you become much more reliable in facilitating this kind of lesson um you know being a teacher is not really telling your student that you are the fountain of knowledge but it's about telling your student that i you are here you are there to help your student in facilitating his english career his english uh studies like that okay let's continue after the student answers give your feedback then say now i'll send you an example answer using the information in the answer key all right so of course it is very important that you allow your student know on how or how is the best or what is the best um answer in answering the question well, our textbook in the teacher side provides the best English sentence in answering that question. However, it is very important also that you also type the words, the sentences that the the the, the, the teacher the, the student is providing when he's answering the question. Well, there are some instances also that you really couldn't understand your student saying, or there are sometimes that the student is actually providing fragment sentences or fragment phrases meaning not really a complete thought well it's it's okay you type it and then you 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 send it to your speech your, your student and then provide the, the 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 best way of answering the question by using the phrases or the fragment words or fragment idea that the, st the student is providing to you when he tried to answer the question um it is important because you're actually helping the student at the same time you are giving the chance you motivate him that you actually understand what he's trying to say however the words or the sentences is being provided in a fragment way instead of in a complete thought so um for me it is very vital it's very important that you allow your student acknowledge the student's answer and before you are going to give the answers that the, that, that the textbook is providing and perhaps the student could be able to review it later all right so let's continue and let's check later how teacher aya conducts the lesson i'll type it in the chat box then copy and paste the sample answer from the answer key into the chat box all right so when you copy and paste this one you have to make sure that you acknowledge what you are doing most of the time 
when the student is not talking and just listening to you, I give them an, a full understanding of what I'm doing during the lesson. So, for example, I am telling the student, okay, I'm now I am actually typing what you have told, what you have answered in the previous question. So, give me ample time to type it. And I apologize if I notice that when I type it, it took a lot of time for me to type those words or those sentences because there are really times that you really, I really type very slow or perhaps I really couldn't understand what is student was talking and I tried to I tried to 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 remember what the student was telling to me during the answering attempt so it is important that you let your student understand what you're doing during the lesson it's not that like you have to to, to assume that the student understand what you're doing right now you're typing and you understand and you you assume that the student is as as understanding that you are actually typing no you have to really verbally tell your student that this time i'm actually typing the word so um this is also to avoid your students comment that the teacher is typing while conducting the lesson or doing something during the lesson or aside from doing the lesson so this will give you a clear uh what i call this one uh, intention to your student of what you're doing during the lesson. So I think it is important and I think it could be a good practice in the teacher's side to really inform. If they are not talking, you inform your student, uh, you know, not in a fast way, but should be in a clear address or clear way of telling the, the, the situation. So for example, I'm going to say, um, this time, I'm actually typing your sentences, so please give me uh, a moment to, to finish the typing. And that if I notice that it really took time for me to, to, to type those words, then I would tell my student, I'm so sorry, I really type very slow, so <laughs> I don't have that skill yet, so please give me more time. You know, when you promise your student, give me a couple of minutes, if it took a minute already, then apologize and tell your student, I, I need more time to type it. And I think the student would be able to, to appreciate your effort about that one. But anyway, let's continue. Practice the sample answer with your student by saying, please look at the chat box and repeat after me. All right, so this is important. This is very vital, guys. So when you give the student you, you, the, 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 the suggested answer in answering that specific question, it is important that you really follow this one. You say, please look at the chat box and repeat after me. Then you have to really what you you have to do what you do what you said a while ago. So repeat after me. So meaning you have to read the whole thing, the whole sentences, the whole paragraph, of, uh, what you type in the chat box, and then you let the student repeat after you. Okay, let's continue. Then let the student repeat after you. Now, please check the directions. Okay. All right, so this time, guys, we will be able to see uh, one of the demo uh, part, uh, one of the, the, the demonstration and how to conduct a discussion uh, segment of daily news. Okay. All right, so please mm -hmm. answer each questions freely or by using mm -hmm. the situation given. Mm -hmm. So I'll okay. read each question. Then mm -hmm. you can answer freely or open the answer key to have more idea to answer. Mm -hmm. So let's start okay. with number one. Do you mm -hmm. agree that socializing plays an important role in living a long and healthy life? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yes, I agree that socializing plays an important role. Uh, All right, so as you see, guys, teacher I is really typing the words that the student is is mentioning or is telling when he tried to attempt answering the question so that's a very good practice and i hope i know not all of us has the ability to type very fast but make it as a habit until then you will be able to notice that your typing will be much faster um there are two reasons mm. uh, first um socializing is mm. not um, uh physically activities so um, it is easy to uh, communi uh, communicate to each other yes. only online mm. and second um, I think um, uh, mind healthy is 
as important as um, physical health. Mm-hmm. And uh, um, if uh, we... Uh, All right. So as you notice, guys, the teacher here use a text uh, box. What do you say? A notepad here. So you have to have another tool also aside from your platform to take note of the words or the sentences that, you know, uh, that can really help the student in answering the question and help the student develop their vocabulary, their diction, their choice of words. That's very important. And I think one thing that is uh teacher Aya is showing here which is i really really appreciate is that you know uh he she really typed the words the sentences not everything but the 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 words the 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 what call this high advanced words that the student is using to acknowledge that the effort that the student is 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 showing during your lesson is not taken for granted instead you type those words and appreciate them in my in my own opinion every time i notice this this the student is using much advanced words in answering questions i acknowledge them i always tell them good job in using the words social responsibility uh, uh mental health or or those kind of things so i think teacher i uh is doing right now is giving him uh, what I call this one acknowledge his mistake and then providing him the correct sentence and let's watch this I engaged in socializing activities uh, we might uh, we uh, we don't feel loneliness mm-hmm. so um, that make us uh, more uh, active. Okay. All right, very yeah. good. So you are basing two reasons and that fact. So of course, mm-hmm. it, we can easily communicate with other people online, as mm-hmm. you said. And of course, mental health is as important mm-hmm. as physical health. So that mm-hmm. is correct. Now, mm-hmm. I'll just type this sentence mm-hmm. into the chat mm-hmm. box. So earlier you said mind healthy is mm-hmm. important as physical health. So when we are comparing something, we use mm-hmm. is as important. All right. So this part also providing your students what i call this one grammar rule uh information could really help you also uh make your 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 what i call this one um correcting uh, the, the 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 grammar the, the 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 pronunciation much more reliable so gi- giving grammar rules or if not you could not good you can you are not Putting that one, it would make your suggestion uh, as recommendation or not really reliable. So it is important that you also give them the grammar rules. Why it is why it is important? Why it is better to use as in this sentence? So kudos to you, teacher Aya. That's a very good practice, guys. So not only providing them the you know the correct way of, of, of making the sentence, but also giving them the grammar rules is, is, is really great. And um, I think one thing that I could really tell you guys is that how many people would ask, how would I put that one as my my, my edge in, 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 in teaching here at Native Camp? Well, exposing myself to different grammar textbook here in Native Camp allows me to learn more and much deeper understanding about the English grammar. And um, I think it is better that when you have, you know, free time, you can also check the side-by-side lessons or what else, the English for Everyone textbook. If you can open those textbooks, try to read them. And it will really, you know, uh, give you supplementary ideas on grammar rules. And when the time you know, hits the perfect, when you hit the perfect time of, of correcting work, correcting your student's mistake, you can use these grammar rules in supplementing why your suggestion is reliable or not. Well, of course, our teach, our students would not ask if your recommendation is reliable or not. Of course, they will not do that. But it would be an edge for you to give some grammar rules if necessary. Okay, especially 
the te- the student here showed in my own opinion that the student is actually able can uh, able to talk english and i think the speed is also very clear and it's a little bit faster so i think the student is ready in the intermediate advanced uh stage of his english studies so giving them the grammar rules could really supplement that your recommendation is really reliable all right let's continue as uh-huh. physical health but instead of saying mind healthy you can also say instead mental health <laughs> Oh, yes, yes. All right. So mm-hmm. now I'll send you an example answer using the information mm-hmm. in the answer key. So All right. So I think um, one thing that I can suggest also in this part, since you put effort in typing, those kind of things. So, you know, make it as a habit also. Uh, make it as a habit also to, 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 to read the sentence that you type. You know, for example, I would say, Uh, I will read the what do you call this one incorrect sentence and please read the next sentence the correct sentence like that and then you know it 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 gives them an idea okay I'm putting emphasis of it so please take note of that mistake and please cho- use this correct sentence in your in your sentence construction okay so letting your students say okay okay doesn't mean that it's okay sometimes Uh, they just say, okay, I understand. But, you know, uh, letting them read the correct sentence would allow you to 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 facilitate and be, what I call this one, initiate, you know, to, to initiate the learning process of the student, you know, by letting them read it, make it more, what I call, they are more engaging about the correction. That's very important also. All right, let's continue. Let me just type it into the chat box. Okay. I know. All right. Mm-hmm. Now, mm-hmm. please look at the chat box and mm-hmm. read the given mm-hmm. answer. All right. So, as what I've said, guys, this part is very crucial, especially if you're doing the demo lesson. Um, it is important that you let your student listen to you when you read the whole sentences or the whole paragraph that you type or when you copy-paste the suggested answer. So, the process is... The teacher will read the whole thing and then you let your student read it after you. Okay, that's the demo lesson. So it is important. Well, in my own opinion, also in my everyday today uh, classes with daily news, sometimes I do that. I try to facilitate the lesson based on the system. However, if I notice that the student has been t- taking my lesson many, many times and, you know, they are being so... that the boredom strikes in their in their system so i tried to deviate to the system so that you know to 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 put a little bit of of gist of the lesson and you know pump up their their interest of the lesson so instead of focusing on the system the process the procedure i put them uh, i put more effort of letting them answer the questions freely you know opinion i open i open my floor and let them talk a lot most of the time yeah mm-hmm. um yes i agree the socializing is important there are two reasons first socializing is not a physically demanding test so anyone including the, the elderly can do it in this model video The teacher encouraged the students to read the sample answers on their own, but the correct way is that the teacher reads first and then the students follow. So please be careful not to make mistakes. Use the same flow as you continue to the next until the last question. When you're done with all the activities, read the last red colored instructions that says, Great! Let's review today's lesson. Well, in my own opinion, guys, um, this part, I cannot say this because most of the time I really don't have ample time to, you know, I really have most of the time, not enough time or, you know, because I really open the floor in my everyday daily lesson. Okay. But in the demo lesson, I really make sure that I'm going to able to finish all those questions and address those questions and let my students answer those questions and follow the 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 flow but in my everyday daily news lesson most of the time i really just 
cannot finish the six question or five questions. Why? Because I make my students understand that this part is your moment. This time is your opinion uh, time. You can answer this question subjectively and make your own and explore your vocabulary. Well, of course, one of my, some of my students actually come back to me and I give them uh, you know, uh, an assignment. So since we were not able to finish the three questions, so make sure to answer them advanced. So in our next lesson, we could be able to answer it uh, them um, faster, much faster and continue our next lesson for the daily news. I do that. Well, one of the reasons is because I don't want them to feel like those questions are unnecessary and not important. It was there or those questions are there because they are important to develop and initiate development English studies development to our students. So I give them that sometimes assignment, but most of the time they can't because they're also busy people. So what I do is I ask them when they come back to my lesson, do you want to answer those questions or going to move on to the next textbook? Well, they have all the freedom to choose what textbook they're going to choose every time they're going to start their lesson. So do not force your student that they should do what you say. No, they always have the freedom. Every time they start doing the lesson, they always have the freedom on what lessons, what textbook they're going to choose and what to start. Only when they are taking Kalan lesson. So Kalan lesson, you know, other textbooks, students, teacher, <laughs> authority. When, when it comes to choosing the the textbook but again it is your job as a teacher to really facilitate the lesson and let them understand why you are conducting why the process why the procedure is like that when you conduct the lesson with your student and of course during the Kalan lesson Kalan is a method it's not just a class it's not just a lesson it's a method that we follow the Kalan method way so we have to be strict we have to be authoritarian throughout the lesson so any request the student is asking you, they are not allowed. So this doesn't um, practice or it is not practice in the textbook daily news. So it is an advanced lesson. However, our student always have the freedom to choose what textbook they are going to choose. All right, let's continue. Thank you for watching the video. Let's continue to learn about the textbooks and have better lessons. All right, so that would be all for the daily news lesson. We were able to finish the six stages or six segments of conducting the daily news. So if you're not able to, to watch the first, second, third, fourth, and fifth, make sure to go to the playlist tips, native camp lesson, or just, you know, check the previous lessons that I uploaded uh, before this is uploaded in our, our channel. Uh, this is a series of six segments about daily news. And I hope, guys, this really helped you, you know, uh, supplement your application here at Native Can. And if you feel like the, the boredom strikes in your end uh, as a daily news teacher, I hope those pieces of information, pieces of advice that I give to you would really supplement and ignite your motivation in conducting daily news lesson. Daily news lesson is such a very awesome textbook that Native Camp offers to our students because we, you know, teaching a lot of or, or, or eight hours a day or more than that, you know, sometimes you're just doing the routine, those kind of things, and you allowing yourself to teach daily news would really, you know, enlighten your and develop your, your, what I call this one, daily information because daily news provides daily information, daily news, and not only your student is, um, what I call this, uh, learning something on you but you also conducting this lesson also learn from what you have read in the daily news lesson so every time i got daily news lesson i really get pumped up i really get like oh what kind of textbook what kind of news we will be talking about today and most of the time what happened is that i in one daily news i already conducted six times already this kind of thing so it's a good review and it will allow me to develop new approach in conducting the daily news specifically for that textbook they specifically to that news because i've read it already so always see the 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 the, the cup half 
full, not half empty. Alright? So again, guys, thank you so much for watching. And I hope you were able to learn. And if you're not yet subscribed in our YouTube channel, make sure to click the subscribe button and also the ring bell button. So you will be notified in our next videos, guys. So in our next video, guys, I will be talking about profile critiques. So we will be... So one of our subscriber here in our YouTube channel sent me uh a comment or message and videos of his siv or the self introduction video so maybe in our next video i will be talking about it and what are the mistakes and what he she should do what she should have done in the tech in the in the in the video so i'm so excited about that that would be our next part and maybe after that we'll be talking about another textbook and how we're going to conduct some feedback that i could provide to you some pieces of advice that i can give to you and again thank you so much for staying tuned in our so in our youtube channel and i really it pump up because we started our 2023 so fun and i already had uploaded a lot of videos already for just a week of january 2023 and i'm so happy about that and i hope i could be able to maintain this one all throughout this year and maintain helping you guys and you guys Supporting me is a big fun. It's a big, it's a big blessing for me for this 2023. So 2023 is, will be a very big leap of my life. Um, I'll be sharing to you next time. So I'm so excited about it. So see you guys. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video, guys. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs>